Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because it's just so cozy and it was so fun to make and I hope that it gives you some fun ideas for Halloween or fall or just gives you some motivation to go ahead and do something that you enjoy doing because I absolutely love decorating and our entire family loves Halloween. It's just so fun dressing up and decorating and just you know the sense of community that you get from hanging out with all of your neighbors and trick-or-treating and all of that but before we get into today's video i would like to thank bingo blitz for sponsoring this video i love playing bingo blitz because it's just a way for me to unwind and relax and just like disconnect while everly is napping and the kids are at school and i have my afternoon coffee it's just one of my favorite things to do, I love playing games, especially bingo, it's always been one of my favorites. This one is a little bit different because you can do power ups, you can get bonuses, you can even travel the world, play with your friends on here, and even meet some new friends. So I absolutely love it. I know you guys will too, so make sure to check it out. You can download it for free. I'm gonna have the link down in my description box below. So the first thing I'm doing now that I'm done my coffee and have a little bit more energy is just going through all of the Halloween stuff that I have. We are also doing a trunk or treat for um, Tanner and Ella's preschool. So there's like a lot of stuff here for classrooms and all of that, but I'm going to do more of that in one of my future get it all done videos a little bit closer to Halloween. Today we're going to mainly focus on decorating the front porch. I'm also taking down some of my fall decor and putting out some of my Halloween decor. I feel like it's time. We had fall up for a while now and the kids, you know, they get really excited with all the Halloween decor out and so do I. So we're going to switch out some of the mantle decor, but right now I'm just unpacking some new front porch decor that I got from Amazon. There's a couple things from Target as well. But I have been dreaming about the front porch that I have for a very long time and I'm just so excited to decorate it for all the different holidays and I also just want to say thank you guys for all of your support because I wouldn't be where I am today without you so I just feel like it's important to throw that in there. But I'll try to have all of these things linked um, in the description box below because I know I'm going to get questions on the decor. It was all really affordable and super cute. These two bins are full of old decor from the previous holiday so I'm going to be using some of that stuff. You'll probably recognize some of it if you've been around here for a while. So like I said, I'm just over looking at the fall decor already, so I'm taking it down and putting up some Halloween stuff and I really love how it all came out. I am surprisingly getting really excited for Christmas. I know Halloween's not even here, but I get like seasonal depression in the winter and I just, I'm happy that I'm feeling excited about some of the things coming up because winter is just not my jam. I don't know why I'm in Pennsylvania, honestly, I belong in like Florida. Texas someplace where it's hot but here we are in Pennsylvania because my family's here and I don't want to leave them otherwise we definitely wouldn't live here <laughs> So this is a banner that I've had for a while. I believe it's from Target Dollar Spot. Um, so I'm just going to hang up that banner. The bats that I got are new. They were really easy to put up and definitely very affordable. Um, so I did wind up putting some bats all around here as well as near the um, table in the entryway. And then you'll see a little bit later I got rid of that second table. I put it in the basement until my sister can get it for her new place. Um, but yeah. I am just craving redoing this living room so bad, especially before winter and we're mostly in the house. Um, so I'm just having such a hard time deciding what I want to do in here. So 
so I really love how this all is coming together. It turned out better than I expected. I did move the bats around a bunch of times and also I wound up adding like this little trick or treat sign underneath um, that little black bottle that has like the skull and bones on it. So I'll have to show you that in my next video, but it definitely looks better, like more balanced. So now that that is all done, I'm just loading up this Tupperware. I always say Tupperware, and you guys make fun of me. Tupperware, um, and just like getting rid of all of this fall decor until next year. Um, and then this table, I'm gonna put in the basement until my sister can take it for her new place. But um, yeah, I definitely need to figure out something for this wall because I definitely feel like something belongs on this wall but for me it's not like two tables it just felt like too much for me but i'm using this glass vase over on this entryway table why in gravity pulling you in close to me i first you but i need you and you're off my radar now i first you Next we are headed outside where all of the magic is happening. So I wound up keeping like all of my pumpkins and mums because that just felt like very wasteful to just toss them and adding the Halloween decor to that and I do really like how it all came out mixing both of them but these signs like I said are from Amazon and they were very affordable. I'm going to wind up tucking them under the string from um, the corn stalk just to keep it on um, because it, you know if it gets windy it would just blow all over the place but so far it's working out great and I love how it looks. So now that those signs are up, I am hanging up these hats and you wouldn't even believe how long it took me to get these right. So I taped them up. They fell down about 15 times. I got so irritated. Then we went to the store and bought hooks and the hooks kept them in. Um, they're like the screw in hooks. So we're just going to keep them up because, you know, I'm going to have garland here for Christmas and I don't know. I just feel like it makes sense to have those little hooks staying there anyway. So I'm really happy that we have that all set up for the next holiday that we decorate for as well. These were affordable. They were battery operated witch hats and they even come with a remote. So you can turn it on and off and put on a timer. And I just love how they looked. And then these little ghosts are also from Amazon as well. Now we're moving on to my massive spider web. You guys don't even understand how much joy this brought me decorating like this for Halloween. I just, like I said, I always dreamed of having like a porch and a front yard like this. And I want all the kids to want to come to our house and trick or treat and get excited from our decor. I know that our kids absolutely love it. But anyway, this spider web, I forget. Yeah, this was an Amazon find. Shocking, I know. Um, but it was really easy to put together. I just used one of those hooks for the top of it and then on the bottom it came with anchors that you just tie them around so hopefully it holds up well but it seems like it will after I put them in the ground Chris also like stomped on them even further so hopefully it sticks but I love how it all came out. Up on the floor, we know how to push the 
So these little tombstones were from Target and they also came with some skull, what was it, skull and two arms. This is easy to put to the ground and just really simple and cute. And I was trying to go with like cutesy and not too scary because I never want like a kid to be afraid to come to our door for Halloween, so yeah. <music> Now I gotta put up my witch who smashed into the pillar here, so I'm just tying that around. It was cute, the kids got a kick out of it. That is why you left without a and then this little spider web and spiders came with that um, tombstone and skull, but I'm just putting it right here to make this a little bit more Halloween, a little less just fall. And I just really love how everything came together. But this wouldn't be complete without my favorite TJ Maxx find of the year, which is my little Jack Skeleton sign that I found for like 19 bucks. Now that the front porch is all decorated, I am going into the office and working on the Cricut here. I'm making some ghost for my for my office diffuser and I had some extra so I wound up putting some ghosts on a black phone case that I had and it came out really cute so stay tuned to see how that all went down and then also I'm going to be cricketing the kids trick-or-treat bags like I did last year so I picked the bags up at TJ Maxx and they're so cute I think they were like four dollars a piece and I let Tanner pick first I originally got You'll see Tanner's. I originally got Tanner's for Everly. Um, not that she's going trick-or-treating, but you know, I just had to make her one too. Um, but he wound up picking that one, so he got that one. You'll see what I'm talking about soon. That came out really really cute and so did the phone case so I'm happy with that and then um, you'll see me get started on their treat bags and I'm for their treat bags I'm using a holographic uh, heat transfer vinyl wow that's a really long title for vinyl but um, I'm doing this voiceover at 12 30 a.m. so please excuse me words are hard <laughs>
I really really love how all those bags came out but we're moving on to the last thing here which is making a delicious chocolate cake I had such a great idea for this um, I found some Halloween peeps comment below if you're a peep person I am NOT one of those people but my kids really like them so I found Halloween peeps and I was like oh, I'm just gonna make a chocolate cake and throw Halloween peeps on them like they do around the Easter time and it'll be so cute and the cake I like to call this cake um, lopsided peep cake it's a really nice specialty but i just think it's so funny like i can make unicorn cakes and um power ranger cakes with fondant and a giant snake cake but making a like regular layered chocolate cake is incredibly challenging for me it's a little lopsided but it's made with a lot of love and it was delicious hey would you rather stay right here? Make everything disappear. Can play my favorite song. So we are just finishing up mixing our cake mix. We just used the store-bought um, Nature's Promise gluten-free vanilla cake. Added some butter and some eggs. And what else did I add? Oh, some milk. <laughs> so Ella's giving that an extra stir for me. She loves to cook and bake with me. And I love teaching her. The boys love it too, but just for smaller increments of time. So I try to like teach them things while we're doing it, like why I do things. You'll see here, Tanner's gonna come up and help me smooth out the cakes and he couldn't understand that we're not stirring it, but I put my hand over his hand to show him how like it's like painting. We're just like, you know, making it level and then he got it. So I don't know, I just, I love doing this kind of stuff with my kids when they're cooperating. So after the cake is all done, I'm just leveling it freehanded here. I know there's like these like saw looking things where you can level them uh, a little bit better. But again, this is just a for fun cake. I take my birthday cakes a little bit more seriously. Um, but yeah, like I said, it came out really yummy, even though it's our lopsided peep cake. I hope that this inspires you to make an imperfect lopsided peep cake and I bet your kids will love it and so will you.
You can see now I'm just trying to like add some sprinkles to give it some a little something something extra um, but yeah like I said it was cute and fun and tasty but I want to thank you all so much for watching today's video I hope that you enjoyed it I love making like holiday related videos as well as my party preps like that's just you know that just like sparks so much joy in me I love to do it also the projector that we got for outside we wound up putting inside and I think the kids will really get a kick out of it tomorrow when they wake up. It's still a little dark when they wake up. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.